Hello to everybody at the Community Counseling and Resource Center in Peterborough. My name is Brennan McAuliffe, uh, and my partner Mary and I were uh, to just two of the students chosen to um, look at your look at your organization and reevaluate your online uh, your online presences. So um, upon you know contacting you guys, looking at your website, adding you on Facebook, following you on Twitter, and everything, we see we noticed that you guys have been doing some things fairly well uh, in in the online regard. Um, your website's really, really well laid out. You know, it's got all the pages people would be looking for, information on the programs, how you, they can contact you, uh, you know, basic stuff like that that the public would be looking for if they were looking to donate or looking to help out with the organization. Um, you guys are on Facebook and Twitter, which is really, which is really good. Uh, most, like, uh, a lot of businesses or organizations nowadays are just on Facebook or they're just on one or two. You guys have kind of started to branch out and get onto other ones as you notice that they've be been become a lot more popular uh, in uh, in the culture and in just in the in the communities nowadays you know technology's getting better and everybody just everybody now everybody knows how to use it so it's a good way to get your messages out there and uh, you know get your name help get people uh, get people involved you know stuff like that <clears throat> so um Touching on those three things, there's uh, there are some there are some recommendations that my partner and I do have for you guys to uh, help better your online presence and you know maybe get a few more viewers, some more hits, more followers on those accounts, and uh, just to um, help you guys out in that regard, you know. So um, we we do have three three suggestions for for you guys that are included in our report that um, I believe Sophie will be giving to you. Uh, the the first of the three is to build a better relationship with potential and uh, potential donors and promote revenue streams even with current donors you know um, having a good relationship with those who are helping you guys out obviously is always always good to have and it shows uh, potentials that you do have you know gratification and uh, interest and you do you do care and show and show appreciation to those who do help you out uh, because a lot of a lot of organizations just you know take take the donations, take the help, say thanks, and and that's it. So then uh, people, when they feel like their their money or their assistance is just being taken, then you know they, they might not really be inclined to go uh, to go back or to continue going to that organization. So um, <clears throat> next we have uh, search engine optimization. We noticed when we were going through your content that it wasn't necessarily keyword rich. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of repetition in terms that would would really come to mind when thinking of your your uh, type of organization, and it, it's those keywords that like that essentially help uh, help your website and your Facebook page and your Twitter pages be at the top of the Google search engines or Bing or whatever uh, when people are looking for you. So obviously, having uh, more keywords in your content would really help raise you guys up on the on the search results. Inevitably raising your uh, viewer and follower hit count on all your sites, and then finally we have um, educate the public through interactive methods and update information regularly. This isn't necessarily anything that big. It's just kind of simple, you know. Create interactive ways uh, to make your site more more interesting or more fun or more appealing to the public. Whether it's a contest, games, having videos and photos up. Stuff like that, just to draw their interest and keep it, because when you have stuff like that on your on your sites or on your pages, people will, on average, will spend more time on it, which means they'll spend more time looking at your content, seeing what you're all about, and then it may draw their interest to uh, to help you guys out. And then updating information regularly, just to to keep potential current donors, volunteers, supporters all up to date, public, so the public knows what's going on. So if there's an event coming up, or if there's you know like a meeting or something like something along those lines, then Maybe because they see it more often, or they know what's coming up. Maybe they uh, they might be interested in uh, attending or, or helping out or something along those lines. <clears throat> so just to uh, touch like touch base on these three suggestions, starting off with um, building a better relationship with potential current donors and stuff like that. It's uh, everybody knows that these that these streams are critical to the company or not the company, the organization's success uh, and how they. And how and their effectiveness. So, um, by keeping past donors up to date on how their generosity has helped organi the organization succeed, you can that that's you can be ma maintaining those valuable relationships. 
and perhaps encouraging future donors be, uh, when they see those like those strong relationships. Um, so the best ways to execute a task is through is through you know your Facebook page, your Twitter page, essentially. Um, because when you're engaging with your uh, with your supporters, your followers, or your donors, or volunteers, or whatever, it uh, it it shows it shows a lot more gratification, and um, it makes it makes them feel like they're like they're more uh, like appreciated and involved, which gives which inevitably gives them a good feeling, which will help them to keep coming back. So um, as you guys already engage clients, donors, and partners through Facebook and Twitter, it seems like the it it would be your best course of uh, course of action. Uh, adding a like a news like a newsletter will not only like adding a newsletter to your Facebook page, you know, promoting the the newsletters on Twitter, you know, putting a newsletter on your site, um, wouldn't only engage the interest of past donors and and future donors. It would you know help them keep it would you know give them the information they need so they know what's going on, where their money's going to, you know, how how they've helped out so. Like it makes it makes them feel good when they see where their money's going or where their support support and volunteering is going, and you know the end process, like the end result, the process. You know, see, like seeing it help somebody out is essentially like what they wanna what they wanna see when they're helping you guys out. So um, <clears throat> once you've grabbed the attention of your uh, like audience with these sort of things, uh, you'll need to get them to answer your call to action. You know how to donate, how you can volunteer, you know, help out, support. Um, this information really should be included on all source, like all sources of online uh, social media and even your uh, your website. Um, this doesn't really mean it has to be the central focus uh, of every page, but it, you know it's where how people can help out is essentially what you want to have on on the uh, like on the site. So um, next is uh, the your search engine optimization. Um, in order to improve the uh, your uh, search engine op optimization. It'd be beneficial to assess the keywords associated with your website. You know, maybe talk to people internally, the public, see what what terms, phrases, words come to mind when they think of the community counseling and resource center. Uh, so you can essentially just you know put put those into into your content, into your pages, and just make make a a lot more keyword rich. They should they should be uh, you know. Your content should be high in keyword rich because it makes it will give you a higher search engine rating, which obviously means that your sites will come up more. So even just re rewriting content, um, editing pages, making sure your new posts, future posts, future content has these has a lot of these keywords would really just help out uh, help out your rating. So um, once you guys have begun to done this, there's actually tools you can use. You can use Google Analytics or you can use uh, a site that is included in our report called adwords.google.com to assess the relevance and popularity of the keywords that you have uh, that you've chosen and you know and how to start lacing those words through every page and post you know and uh, just it'll help you to rewrite your content so that you do have these keywords <clears throat> so finally we have the uh, the update and interact um, recommendation you know it, it's important that your websites and social networking media are up to date because people you know, if they go on one week and see some, like see uh, see some housing listings or some donation information, and they go up on next week and it's still there, they they might they might be more inclined to think that you guys aren't necessarily paying close attention to your online presences, and you know that that may turn somebody off who was thinking about donating because they may think that if hey if they're not going to manage their online sites uh, as well as they could, then maybe they're not going to manage the like our our time or our donations as well as they could. Um, so you know, it may not all obviously be to that extent, but it does like that. That effect does come into some people's minds. So um, you know, by posting on uh, like updating your website as often as you can, um, in regards to the the housing listings and you know fund status and stuff like that, uh, it it just it gives them the information they need so that they so that they can support as much as they as much as they want to or as much as they can, um. You know, post post on Facebook, updating the website. You know, Twitter alerts, weekly. You know, like weekly, uh, weekly things, weekly posts or monthly posts that uh, people can count on or depend on. Much kind of like a like a newspaper coming out on the weekends is would re would really go a long way in that regard. Um, it gives the impression that the website 
uh, is is much more reliable and that um, the uh, social media leaders are paying much more attention. So, uh, <clears throat> and then next would be interacting um, with the public or, or volunteers, uh, any anybody who uh, just sees interest or wants to get involved. You know, a way of doing this is, you know, maybe like a, something kind of line, on the lines of an activity or a contest, um, posting up videos and photos uh, in regards to, you know, like uh, at some housing, at some events, what's going on, so people can actually see when they look you guys up what uh, what you guys are all about and what you guys are doing. So, um, in regards to like a contest thing, we kind of came up with of it with an idea, uh, kind of along the lines of like a information scavenger hunt, uh, if you will. Um, this would just simply be, you know, getting a encouraging people in the community to participate in this kind of contest, having, you know, a, uh, a series of small prizes, you know, three or four for um, the winners. You guys would just provide questions that are, or uh, tasks that they'd have to um, fulfill that would actually require them to go on your Facebook and, uh, and like, see the posts and see the pictures and see, um, you know, like, newsletters or whatever you post up, go into your Twitter account and, you know, see what your bio is on your Twitter how many followers and stuff you guys have, just basic information about your social media sites, and then obviously going on your website and reading the content, the pages, and it would essentially educate them on what you guys are all about, what you're doing, how you're helping the community, uh, and also your history, while uh, like actively engaging them, making them feel like uh, like drawing, keep drawing and keeping their just a little bit more. So this would obviously be a like a great effective way to. Uh, engage the community and get people more interested in your uh in your organization and so uh you know just have them go go all, all over the sites and get information answered like uh for like three four five quite like a specified number of questions you guys provide and then have um and then have maybe the like the the community or uh, other participants who have to like your page to uh to vote to see who wins and then uh and in, in the end have you guys decide you know, as a panel of judges, who gets what prize or who, like, based on the answers that they give. So this would just be kind of like a fun interactive way for you guys to get them involved and to, to draw more interest into your site. So um, essentially all three of these recommendations would just are just uh, ways that we thought that would, uh, that would help you guys, you know, boost your follower rating, get, get more traffic going your way, uh, and just to, you know, improve your overall online presence. Because nowadays a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of advertisement and stuff now uh, is online. People aren't usually picking up the phones to go call call a place, or they're not just popping in to see what they're all about. They're just checking online because they can do it on their computer, in their in their room, in their living room, on their phone. So it's it's an important way to uh, to keep the community up to date and involved, and um, and to uh, show everybody what you're all about. So. I believe in our report we do have um, the three recommend like our, our rec like those three recommendations I just uh, spoke of, uh, and as well as an implementation plan. You know to put in a new Facebook page, step by step process, how you guys would uh, reevaluate the keywords and the keyword uh, the keyword tools, and then also um, the the adding the photos and the the contest and stuff like that. We have some uh, some some of that outlined in our, in our uh, report that I, you guys will receive. So hopefully that this video helps you out, the blog helps you out, the report helps you out, and uh, hopefully me and Mary, um, or sorry, Mary and I, uh, effectively helped you guys out. So best of luck in the future. Hopefully uh, I'll be popping by to see you guys, see you guys sometime and uh, see how things are going. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much. It was really good to uh, learn about you guys, and uh, best of luck.